Mighty Shea Bear 1000 here. I also have Monkey 1000. Today we're going to be doing a review of this Axe Pizza Cutter. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, so let's go ahead and get this opened up and let's check it out. Okay guys, so this is what we got here. It's kind of cute. Monkey got this, where the Dollar family? General. Dollar General? Mm-hmm. Gen Gen General. Five bucks, okay? Kitchen Essentials. Axe Pizza Cutter. Now I'm gonna start off by saying guys, I know that this is a novelty because quite honestly, something like this, I think, uh, to me it's, it's just a a novelty so if you know I me mean, no matter how much i like it if i'm going to cut a pizza i'm just going to grab a regular pizza cutter now there's so many of these review channels that actually put these to the test as if that's going to be their number one pizza cutter in their arsenal of kitchen gadgets that's that's not true to me it's something like if you're married to you know a tree trimmer or something it'd be it's cool you know It'd be like having a pizza cutter on a ranch. I should invent that. But I won't have to now because since I mentioned it, 30 other people will. But, you know, it's 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 just to hang up and look cool or whatever. Um, I, I get it. Those guys don't. They'll sit and cut down like the bicycle pizza cutter. Oh, that don't work. It's junk. It's not really meant to work. It's, you know, for the bicyclist in your family, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's a novelty. It's like, cool, look, here's a pizza cutter. But, <clears throat> so, um, there it is. Gives you instructions how to assemble, insert wood handle into hole and blade head. Okay, but let's go ahead and open this up here. Got it? Yeah. Oh. Well, this is packaged well. Uh -huh. It is. Nice packaging. Um, oh, the cutter is metal. Oh. See, this is kind of, you can actually sharpen these things, but this has kind of got an edge on. See, there's an edge. Mm -hmm. And there's an edge. This has just got an edge on one side and it's you know it's just plastic kind of chintzy but you know what the heck it's, I think it's cool I think it's cute because I haven't seen one of these yet have you no this is the first time I saw one okay. which way does okay so it goes like this there we go all right and that's pretty much Oh, well, there's two of that. We'll see if it works. I mean, yeah. <coughs> I'm sure it'll cut, but <coughs> excuse me, for five bucks, I think it's a cool looking novelty. It's cool. In itself, you know, I mean, but even if it doesn't cut a pizza, you know what this would be good for? Cutting your homemade noodles. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. I happen to have a machine that does that, but I mean, you know, you could cut your homemade noodle noodles with it. Um, but I just think for five bucks, so far it's well worth it. For five bucks, it's it just the, the cool factor of it to me is worth five bucks, whether it cuts a pizza or not. Yeah, I think it's worth five bucks just to like your friends, a you know, a tree trimmer. You know, here you go, man. You're like, cool, I'll hang it in my garage. You know, I just think it's it's just cool. That's what it's for. But it says, channel your inner lumberjack without leaving the kitchen. The wooden handle and stainless steel blade will chop cheese and crust in true woodsman style. Yelling timber not required. <laughs> and it's got a limited warranty. Let's read this. ASI guarantees that this product has no material or manufacturing defects. If such defects are found, ASI might at its own op option Replace the product or refund the purchase price. 
these are your only remedies. <laughs> Limitations of liability. Ooh. Okay, let's read this. Um, ASI is not liable for any loss caused by incidental, coincidental, or consequential, direct, indirect, or special damages related to use or misuse of this product. So in other words, you know, like if if I cut myself because I'm fucking around like this, um, they're cut not me or cut monkey. They're not going to assume liability of it. Don't eat this. Okay, so we got a pizza over here. I want to show you his pizza too. It's pretty cool. Um, but I mean. <laughs> Oh, ooh, almost got her. See that? But um, this is cool. This is really cool. Yeah. I guess you could do it either way, but let's see, because they have it like that. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Yeah, it's, I mean, stainless steel blade. It does. It really doesn't feel junk. I mean, other than this rattling a little bit, but you know, so is that. Yeah. This is a uh, Tupperware. Let's see, you had this one we got together, didn't you? Oh, I've had that forever. So, but the, I mean, it works fine. I'm sure you know that. You know, this is not going to cut that great, but I really don't care. It's the cool factor. So let's check this pizza out. So Monkey buys these for me. I don't know if you guys have had these or not, but these pizzas are awesome. Screaming Sicilian. I'm gonna pull it out now. Does that sound familiar? That ad? Yes. <laughs> and the neighbors are thinking nasty thoughts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but all they're talking about is taking the pizza out of the oven. But this one is the pepperoni. And it says piles of pepperoni. I'll show you something really cool on the back, too. Look at this. This is crazy. If you guys haven't tried this, I'm about to knock my camera off the thing. There we go. Look at all these pepperonis. But you can pop this mustache out of here. And you can wear it. So you can look like screaming Sicilian. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm So you can give it to your kids, and now you have a mustache. Hmm. Pretty cool. Is it comfy? I'm gonna put it out now. Okay, now I'm gonna move this. Just preheat the oven to 425, and uh, put it in, in the oven for uh, 17 minutes. Uh, okay, so hang on a second. Okay, I just had to get my pan. I don't know why I had to shut you off for that because it took me about three tenths of a second. Okay, so I just want to show you all these pepperonis. Now, sometimes we get them and there's a lot more pepperonis than this on it. Right, Mama? Oh, yeah. Bunch and bunches of pepperonis here. Look at that cool of course it's a little misshapen because somebody probably had it in their vehicle way too long <laughs> monkey's holding an axe at me like she's <laughs> gonna do something they said they weren't responsible that don't mean you're not responsible mm -hmm. yeah i killed him but the box said <laughs> right yeah the box said they're not responsible okay so anyway as you can see there is one hell of a lot of pepperonis on here. Yep. I like pepperoni. And I have already got the oven preheated. But anyway, that's pretty cool, right guys? And of course they have other ones where you got like everything on it and sausage and do they have just a sausage one? I believe so. I'd like to try that one next. Okay, here we go. Um, 
So I'm going to put this in the oven for 17 minutes. So while this is cooking for 17 minutes, I am going to embrace you guys with the unmistakable sounds of elevator music for your enjoyment. Oh Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't going <laughs> to I ain't gonna make you do that. I'm going to put this in the oven for 17 minutes. Actually, it says to check at 15. Our oven cooks really, really fast. So I usually check it at 14. So just bear that in mind. So anyway, in the oven it goes, and then we'll try to cut it up. Okay, our pizza's done. Now we're going to try this thing out. By the way, this took about 12 minutes in our oven. So let's give this a shot and see. Here, let me hold it with this one. <laughs> no, <laughs> it cuts just about like I thought it would. Pretty crappy. But like I said, it's more of a novelty. Yeah, see, compared to a regular, a regular one. That cheese, I'll probably put it back in for a couple more minutes, maybe another minute. Um, so, but guys, listen, for five bucks, I think it's worth that just because it's cool. You know, it's a tool. It's hot. Yeah, it's, um, you know, and this feels like it's going to come off. But, is it great at cutting pizza? No, it sucks very badly at cutting pizza. But we figured that, because this is a novelty. This is a novelty. But for five bucks, I think it's a cool novelty. And I, I still give it a two thumbs up for the cool factor. I mean, but that's just me. Look at all these pepperonis. Uh -huh. I was talking to them. Uh oh. <laughs> Monkey, monkeys everywhere on the counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in just for like another minute. I'm not gonna turn the oven back on or anything, that'll melt that. And Monkey and I will give you our final thoughts. Be right back. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's our review of the Axe Pizza Cutter. Again, it's a novelty. I hate when these reviewers these review channels get on there and they review this stuff like you're actually going to use this you're not it's for fun i might even hang it up in the garage because it's really cool you know yeah, it's cute. yeah. Uh, for five bucks i think it's worth five bucks for the novelty but i'll tell you something that we're not going to try because i'm not going to make mix it up but noodles the this would cut your homemade noodles just fine so there is a use for it it's just, you know, I hate when they, you know, this thing's junk, don't buy it. No, I'm saying it's junk for cutting pizza, but I'm saying buy it because it's really cool if you're a tool guy, if you're not even an outdoorsman, mm -hmm. you know, uh, camping people like us. Yeah. It's real, it's just, it's just cool, you know. I mean, you're not going to use it outdoors, but no. you use axes outdoors, you know. You use so. It. It's just a fun little thing, and to me, it's well worth the five bucks. I give it two thumbs up for the cool factor, two thumbs down for the cutting factor. Right. Um, but again, I, I would recommend it. Sorry, Monk. There. I would recommend it. So, there you go, guys. The Pizza Cutter. The Axe Pizza Cutter by... By who? Kitchen Essentials. Kitchen Essentials. Yes. So there it is. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. With that I think it's a cute little gift to give somebody that has, you know. You I think it's pretty yeah. cool, yeah. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Monkey, you have anything else you want to add? No. No? You want to eat the pizza now? Yeah. <laughs> she had pizza for lunch. No. Yesterday. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to say Shea Bear Myth the Man Legend. I'm for now. And we'll see you guys in the next one, Monk. Thank you so much for now. Bye, y'all. All right. Don't forget to check her channel out. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye and take care.